The Boys presents Diabolical. I'm your pusher, episode 3 explored. Welcome back to another video. As we continue with The Boys Diabolical reviews, today we'll discuss the third episode, I'm your pusher. If you want to know more about the first two episodes, look for them on our channel. Huh? Diabolical is a sarcastic foray into the world of The Boys. It's an animated binge for adults that's entertaining, aggressive and hilarious. It never becomes too deep or profound and it doesn't add anything to the parent series plot beyond amusement and it's unquestionably entertaining. Diabolical is an ambitious and light-hearted and to the more pessimistic and gloomy parent series written by fans and architects of the universe. The many different animation styles add to the show's unpredictability, humour, gore and enjoyment. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Now let's begin. <laughs> Episode 3 I'm your pusher. The Boys Diabolical isn't only influenced by the realm of animation. Garth Ennis, the original writer of the Boys comic books, wrote I'm your pusher. Ennis's contribution reflects the look of Derek Robertson's comic artwork rather than copying a specific animation technique from the past or present. Every shot feels like it might be a panel from the comic series, but none more so than the wide-eyed, sweating image of a sky-high Great White Wonder, which evokes Robertson's style. His crazed look is eerily similar to Homelander, Swing Wing, and other characters on the printed page that have equally deranged gurns. When Billy Butcher and Wee Huey appear, they aren't the animated equivalents of Carl Urban and Jack Quaid, and the same is true for Homelander and Queen Maeve. They don't look like the actors, but more like how they are shown in the comics. The chapter begins with a bang at the door, as Billy Butcher arrives at OD's house and inquires about the children's blood. Yeah, you heard that right. OD is an abbreviation of Oswald Denneke, a drug dealer who supplies drugs for the soups, particularly those in The Seven. What? Oh, you want to know about the children's blood part? Well, we'll get to that in a minute. So, from Butcher, we get to know Oswald's history and the poison choices for these soups. For example, Iron Cast drinks blood of dead children, particularly those who die due to terminal disease like leukemia. He supplies crystal meth for A-Train and Jack from Jupiter. Queen Maeve's drug of choice is Happy Pills. Unsurprisingly, Homelander does coke, and this particular chapter's subject character or soup, Great Wide Wonder, prefers a heroin enema. Yeesh. Butcher hands over a serum and orders OD to use it to patch up Great Wide Wonder. If not, he'll contact the DEA and consequently have him thrown in prison. Talking about throwing, he also threatens to throw him outside the building from the balcony. So why is Butcher seeking vengeance on the Great Wide Wonder? Well, the soup has apparently killed multiple individuals, much like many of the seven, and he intends to play judge, jury and executioner with no remorse. The next day, when Homelander is ready to induct Great Wide Wonder into the Superhero Hall of Fame, Great Wide Wonder, who has become intoxicated by the serum, begins flying around, losing control, and finally bursting through Ironcast and exploding in a gory mess on the wall. As Homelander, Jack from Jupiter, and Maeve watch the disaster, Maeve uses her fast wits to devise a plan to divert the crowd's attention, vowing to supposedly avenge Great Wide Wonder by flying up to the sun and landing on a make-believe war satellite. Butcher and Huey leave OD in a blubbering mess as they walk away from the drama. This chapter doesn't have much gore and violence, if you compare it to the previous two. It has one particular scene of violence near the end, and that one scene is pretty messed up. Most crucially, this chapter fulfills some long-held fan fantasies by returning to the book's original format and finally hiring Simon Pegg to voice Huey Campbell. For those unaware, the character was originally based on Simon Pegg, specifically in Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz, What do we think? Diabolical demonstrates a commitment to showcase a wide range of reviews and animation techniques. It respects some of the fandom's lesser known areas while boosting the medium's tried and true favourites in both familiar and surprising ways. The Boys Presents Diabolical isn't out to create something new. It would be pointless because The Boys is already distinct and surprising. What it does though is remind audiences, and pretty well we might add, that animation isn't just for children. Each episode serves as a bizarre little tale within The Boys' ever-expanding universe, proving that sometimes the best way to help the medicine go down is to smack us in the face with a colossal cartoon anvil. This particular episode effectively seems like pages pulled directly from The Boys' comic, paying respect to the 
graphic novel that began it all with a simple vengeance plot. It also works effectively, highlighting the struggle that occupies most of the boys' runtime while portraying these characters in their original hand-drawn incarnations. While there isn't an open ending to everything given the show's anthological framework, it isn't a deal-breaker. Instead, it keeps us excited about what will happen in the next episode. What I like about this series is that it takes an organic amount of time to build up as the story gets more messed up as each episode ends and the next one starts. I can't wait to see the next one and review it. I wouldn't say I like to give stars, but I will give this episode a solid 4 out of 5. Why 4? Because I think the chapters from here are about to get even more messed up, so I'm leaving room for a if you like this review, then do click on the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click on the bell icon to get notified when we upload the review of episode 4. Also, what did you think about this episode? Let us know in the comments. I'm Terry Cooper. See you in the next one.